watch it with that thing. My mum told me my granddad has the flu. I've never had the flu, so I wanted to learn more about it. I learnt loads of stuff, like how to make sure you don't get ill from the flu. Take a look. I had a cold once, coughed and sneezed a lot, and my nose was like... Snot everywhere. Very runny. Yeah. Flu is like that, but loads worse. You don't want to catch it. Dad said doctors know all about the flu, so I asked one. Take a look. Hi Chloe, I'm Dr Steedman. How can I help? Hi Dr Steedman. I want to learn more about flu and find out if there's anything we can do to avoid catching it. Well, flu is a, a particular kind of bug called a virus which infects the human body. And when it gets into our body, it can cause us to become very seriously ill. And we usually catch flu from someone else who already has the bug. This is actually what flu looks like, only it's so tiny we can't see it with our own eyes and in fact we can't even see it with a normal microscope. We have to use a really special high-powered microscope to be able to see it. How is flu spread? When someone has flu it tends to live in their mouth and in their nose and basically in their snot and in their spit. And flu also makes you cough and sneeze. So what happens when you cough and sneeze and you have flu is that you basically release bits of snot and spit that have the flu in it into the air. And other people then breathe it in or it can get into their eyes or it can get onto surfaces that they touch and that's how they then get the flu virus. So you can see how easily it's spread from person to person. How can you prevent this spread of germs? There's lots of things you can do to stop the spread of germs. The most important things are to cover your mouth and nose whenever you cough or sneeze <coughs> and to wash your hands before you eat. <coughs> Another fantastic way to protect against germs is immunisation. So what is immunisation? I found a great video that explains it. Check it out. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? How about being able to fly? That sounds fun. Hmm, maybe not. How about invisibility? Now you see them, now you don't. Hello? Hello? Ah, there you are. Okay, how about something that's really useful? This one protects you against some illnesses. Doctors and nurses call it immunization. When lots of people get immunized, it means fewer people get sick. And there are fewer germs going about. And that's better for everyone. So if I was able to have a superpower, I know which one I'd pick. Pretty cool, eh? My friend Aidan has been immunised. You should check out his video to see what being immunised is actually like. Oh, hey, go easy with the clicks. I'm in school today, as you can probably tell. But today's a bit different. Today I'm being immunised against flu. Hiya, I'm Rina. I'm one Hello. of the nurses. How are you today? I'm good. That's good. I'll just ask you a few questions. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Um, Aidan Jones. Mm -hmm. And when's your birthday? It's the 18th of March. So you're, what age are you? Eight. And where do you stay, Aidan? 12 Mill Lane. Okay. So what I want you to do is just take a wee hanky. And I'm just going to squish that up your nose, right? And then we're going to squish it. That's it. Right. That's you and that's you protected. That wasn't difficult, was it? Well done. Thank you. Right, thanks.
Feels a bit funny when it goes in, but not too bad. Now it won't pass on flu germs to other people. Okay, remember, if you want to protect yourself and others from the flu, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, wash your hands before eating, and get immunised. That's a really important one. I'm being immunised at my school today, so I better get going. Bye.